All right, we are here with Tufts University men's basketball after their second round victory against New York University. We have head coach Brandon Linton, Casey McLaren, and Jay Dieterle. Coach, if you could just start with an opening statement on the game. Wow. That's <laughs> it. What a, what a just gritty, awesome performance from our group again. I mean, we're spearheaded by these two. Um, that was just, that was just an awesome game from start to finish. I think we put a uh, pretty good time to have the best collective game of the year. And uh, I'm just, I'm still speechless, I'm out of breath. I'm just so happy for these guys, especially these two. You know, their careers have just been marked with adversity and they've stayed with it. Uh, they've been leaders throughout and it's, uh, it's all paying off uh, for these guys in the senior year. So I'm just, just ecstatic for these two, except for our group, uh, Tufts, our community. Um, we got our alumni out of it. Was, it was just awesome. Uh, I'll remember this forever. Yeah, um, so Linton McLaren specifically. Um, Obviously, you watched the tape yesterday and knew going into it that you had to lock Friedman down in some way, one way or another. So what was it like to execute that plan, see it executed, and then work so well? Yeah, sure. I mean, obviously, Friedman's a hell of a player, um, probably the best player I've ever guarded. Um, and it was probably a lot easier guarding the first half, to be honest with you. But uh, we did the job on him, um, and we're lucky to get the win today. So, so happy we got the win. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I got an easy job. You know, we've got so many guys, including Casey, um, John Medley, Kai Champion, you know, Jay, you know, he steps up and guards when he wants to, but we got a collective team that um, we could put on other teams' best players and uh, let them do their thing. Um, you know, they're watching internalizing it, we watch the film, and uh, these guys get excited about greatness and playing against greatness. And uh, we appreciate Spencer Freeman for being who he is because, you know, he brought out the best in us, and uh, it was fun to see. It was even fun now that we're on the winning side to see him start to go off and, and, and uh, us still be able to get the job done. So uh, I'm proud of these guys for, for their uh, attention to that side of the basketball. Yeah. Um, so obviously you guys came here on the road in this family facility with a uh, big pulse and crowd, but I mean there was also some a lot of tough stands that came out there. How was it playing with the pulse and people coming in for NYU and then also for Tufts? How was that environment, especially in the tournament game? Um, I mean, it's always fun, like Coach said, we had a ton of alumni that made the trip down here, um, and a ton of family and friends that came out and supported, and like, honestly, it felt like we were in Cousins Gymnasium at some points, um, and there's nothing better than making a loud gym quiet, and especially hearing our voices of our alum, it's just, it's an unbelievable feeling walking off that court, seeing all the alumni smiling, seeing all the friends and family smiling, and it's something that I'll remember forever. Yeah, I agree, it's a ton of fun. Thank you. Yeah, Coach, can you just speak to the non-conference schedule you played and how you think it prepared you for this game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we had uh, five terrific seniors last year that um, that graduated. And, uh, you know, we had literally a brand new starting five and a bunch of guys that were stepping into new roles. Um, but we knew internally how talented that we were and how good we were going to be. Um, so the, the real issue was just trying to make sure we got tested early. You know, when we tried to build the schedule as a staff, we wanted to you know, put ourselves on the fire and not confidence that way when we got the next guy to play, we'd be ready to go. And uh, these guys, man, you know, they, they took that tough non conference schedule and, uh, and did a great job of it. But um, I think it really helped us now, right? League play, we, we kind of stumbled um, uh, early on, but we regained ourselves due to the confidence that we established in the non conference. And I think it's starting to pay off now again as we get to NCAA tournament play. Um, but we really believe iron sharpens iron. Uh, we want to go against the best. You know, one of our core values is uh, competitiveness, and uh, it does us no good to play, um, you know, weak competition. So, win or lose, we got to challenge ourselves, and we did that. We've been doing that all year. And can you also talk about kind of slowing the game down at the end, which, you know, obviously you're trying to limit possessions when you're up by eight with like six minutes left, but, you know, obviously it almost cost you two. Um, was that something which you were concerned about doing just because? You know, you weren't really able to generate a lot of good looks for like six minutes of the game. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, you gotta give them a lot of credit too. You know, they, they buckled down. You know, I thought they started to be uh, physical and, you know, you could go back and forth about calls and whatnot, but we were on the wrong end of physical play and uh, we just didn't convert. Um, but it wasn't an intentional thing to slow it down. We just, you know, we're coming up short. Uh, but we can play in those games. We've played in games that are, you know, low scoring. We've played in games that are high scoring. Um, honestly, that fits our personnel just fine. All right, we're more comfortable in that, um, you know, I think, than uh, maybe NYU is they want to get up and down and play free. At the end of the day, that pace plays to our favor as well. So um, I know we'd be fine either way. We just need to get some stops, see the ball go through one time, and we'd, we'd be fine, which is pretty much what happened. 
And last thing I'm, I'm curious about, I guess for all of you, because um, you're going to play Trinity now again. Uh, so, you know, they kind of have your number right now. Um, I'm curious what you guys think you got to do better in order to flip the switch a little bit on them. I mean, yeah, they're a really good team. Um, obviously, we've seen them twice, so we're very familiar with them. Um, but I know we got a full week of prep. Um, coach is going to cook something up for us that we're going to be ready for. Um, it's really, really hard to beat a team three times, and we're looking forward to that matchup with them. Tether, you two have uh, Yes, one last one. So last game against uh, Stockton, you guys played, you held them in the second half to just 0 for 8 from shooting from behind the arc. And then here, it looks like it was just 2 for 7. What is sort of that mindset coming out of the locker room and playing like fantastic perimeter defense, especially on New York, who's one of the best shooting teams in the country? Yeah, um, you know, that's obviously a big part of our, our game plan is the, the three-point line. Um, and, you know, especially against teams that, you know, that's a big part of what they try and do. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to try and shut people out from, you know, their plan A. Um, we've got length and athleticism in the perimeter. We've got size in the back end. And so we could be aggressive taking away the three-point line, knowing that we've got, um, you know, trees behind us that, you know, will cover up for any kind of penetration. So uh, we're allowed to play free on the perimeter and really uh, sell out on that and people just tee us up from, from three. Um, and we've gotten better with that. Like, there's been games where we didn't do a good job around the three-point line. And again, you know, due to our tough non-conference schedule, we've been exposed, which I think is helping us now. Um, and we're not seeing those, those exposures so much. So um, I think it's just a season's worth of preparation and uh, you know, experiences that's allowed us to be able to do what we did these last two games. Ruby, you know? Um, no, no, no. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, guys. Thank you.